the population of Greenville increased by 7% from 2015 to 2016. If the 2016 population is K times the 2015 population, what is the value of K? So a lot of this, the 2015, 2016's population, mm, it's a lot of words that don't really mean a lot in the context. The question that they're asking is, if I have a number and then I want to increase that number by 7%, what do I multiply it by? What am I multiplying it by to get to this new number? So to increase something by 7%, look at our an answers here. So this represents 7%. This represents 70%. This represents 107%. And this represents 170%. So this is one way to look at it. You're saying, okay, so is this new value going to be 7% of the original? Well, 7% is less than a tenth. It's a small portion of the original. No, it's going to be the original and that extra 7%. So it's going to be the original, which is 100%, and then 7% more. It is going to be 107% of the original, which is C. So there's several ways you can look at that. You can just take this knowledge of saying, oh, if I want to get a number and increase it by 7%, I'm actually needing to multiply by 107%. You can... Um, if you're looking at this, go immediately go 70% and 170%. Those are out. All right. So if I multiply by 7%, am I getting bigger? No, that's just asking what is 7% of Greenville. If I multiply by 107%, I am going to be increasing that. I'm going to get the final number. I don't have to do any adding later. If um, this sort of conceptual general uh, way of looking at it isn't making much sense and you're you know you're in on the SAT and you're you know you're stuck for time a good thing I always recommend is start putting some real numbers in there if you're having problems remembering about percentages or how this relates to each other or just you know the pressure of the test real numbers are a great way to go so a way I might do this if I was trying to remember oh is that seven or is it 107 like which one would work let me pick some real numbers so in 2015, let's say there were 100 people and it increased by 7%. So 7% more. What's 7% of 100? So 100 times 7% is 7. So 7 more people came in. Now there's 107 people in 2016. If I multiply by 100 by each of these four things, which one gets me to 107 C 1.07. So that's another way to look at it, especially under the pressure of a test. Sometimes the real numbers can help jog your memory. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.